I want to talk about the organizer's organizer. Who helps the organizer get organized? Um, because organizing is a structural thing and it's a logical thing, but it's also not logical at all. Um, and when there's emotions involved and when there's overwhelm involved, who helps us? Because we're human just like everyone else and we need help in the same way. So who helps the organizers when the organizers need help? support. Um, well, for me, it's one of my best friends, Sylvia. So Sylvia was my assistant for a long time. And so she knows, um, anyone who's ever worked with me knows I like things done a certain way and I'm, I'm really thorough and, um, and she knows all of that. So it's like actually getting my technique mirrored back at me whenever Sylvia is helping me with stuff. And so she and her family were in town and they are my family. They have, you know, they are my ride or die people. They have seen me through the worst of days and the best of days and, um, they're just people that I can be my most real, let it all hang out, vulnerable self with. And I was wanting to go through my clothing closet and, um, <laughs> and you know, knowing, and actually the other funny thing about Syl is that we're the exact same size. So when we're both thin, so she's, she's currently pregnant and I am, um, uh, currently a little fluffy so but we're still but our bone structure is the same so mostly we wear the same size shoes we wear the same size pants I mean almost everything is about the same so it's nice that we have the same structure so I went in to have her help me organize the closet because I wanted to purge a lot and I knew that I would want to give her stuff and that it would fit her perfectly and so that was the intention in my mind that I was going to go in and purge my closet with this sister you know, friend who can take some of this stuff. And suddenly we find ourselves like elbow deep in the middle of my clothes, having purged like at least half of them. My closet is like almost empty now. My, we probably cleared an entire drawer from my dresser. It's, it's profound and powerful. And, you know, I just, I want to share that because I think it's important that everyone knows that sometimes everyone needs help. Clothing is one of those areas that is really challenging for a lot of us. It is not easy to go through and purge our clothes. It's not easy to, as a woman to make space with our clothes or make space, make peace with our clothes to make space for our clothes. Why? Because most women I know are not a static size. Like I have three sizes of jeans that I might wear in one month, right? Two sizes of bras that I might wear in one month, it's having a body that fluctuates and changes. And I love the femininity and I love the flow of it. And sometimes dressing, it can be really challenging and being a minimalist with clothing can be exceptionally challenging. But there are things that I was holding on to. I had no business holding on to. I had pants that I haven't worn in forever that honestly, um, I wasn't that into even when they fit and other pants that I love dearly and were so expensive and have been tailored within an inch of my body that I'm not getting rid of because I'm going to hold on to those. So having someone really help me get clear and clean about what I'm keeping. Um, it, you don't have to only keep the things that fit you right now. It's okay to have a box of clothes that are for bigger days or have a box of clothes for smaller days or special occasions or things that you're not currently doing. It's fine. They just need to be organized. But what I say for people is only have in your closet what you actively wear. Because when you have things in your closet that you're not actively wearing, then it's making you feel bad about yourself or you're feeling fear. There's there's all sorts of emotions that come up. And that was one of the gifts that Syl gave to me when she was here with me was really allowing another human to sit with me in my vulnerable space, in my challenging space of do I need these five pairs of pants? Do I need these objects that I haven't worn in a long time? Are they really as valuable as they feel? Because oftentimes the value that we assign to them is way bigger than it actually is on a practical level. And so even if you can't hire an organizer to come to your house, if you're feeling stuck, have a girlfriend come over, a safe person, um, ideally one that wears your size so that you can give things to them um, as you go through it. it. It feels really good to give things to someone that you know is going to use them. Um, but have someone come and help you that's safe, someone that can just sit with you and let you tell the stories. I mean, there were there were dresses in there that I wore to funerals that were really hard to let go of, but also weren't bringing me joy. I needed to talk through that stuff with someone else. It wasn't the same to do it by myself, and that's why I hadn't. Um, we sometimes need to talk through, okay, really, am I going to wear this again? Is my lifestyle set up to, to actually ever experience that again? And so having a friend, 
a partner, someone that is safe and trusted that you can really work through this with is really, really vital. Um, and that's what so was for me. And I feel a lot of gratitude to have had the organizers organizer come and help me with my stuff because everyone, even organizers need a little help from time to time. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. There is nothing wrong with reaching out. And when we do that, we become stronger, not only within ourselves, but within our community. So I really recommend taking a minute and maybe listing out five people who are safe people that you can call on to help you with some of the organizing projects that are feeling challenging to you right now. So just take a minute, map those people out, reach out to them maybe, ask if they can come and just sit with you. Um, and, and, I, and I would imagine that you will find that it will make those projects far, far easier to go through.